Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at how effective capacity of a cluster is calculated and what that means for the cluster runway. So I'm going to switch over to my Prism Central here and we see that we have this cluster Parches 2 and its runway is zero days and the runway is low because the memory runway is actually running out. I want to just take a little bit of a deeper look into this cluster before we take a look at the runway. And we can see here the memory usage is actually currently 80%, uh, meaning that there's about 20% remaining, uh, even though we're seeing that the cluster runway is zero days. And the other thing I want to point out is that the host count here is three for this cluster. So let's take a look at the runway now, switch over, um, and we're going to switch to the memory runway, which is the one that's running out. And we can see that the chart here shows that the runway usage uh, isn't, isn't taking up the full capacity. It's, uh, only take, there's about, uh, let's see what the current usage is, 158 out of 188 gigabytes, meaning we have around 30 gigabytes left. Uh, but we can see it's far above this red line. And what this red line is showing us is the effective capacity of this cluster, um, which is around 112 gigabytes. And the reason for this is we hover over this little tooltip here. Uh, the first reason is that the re there's a reservation of 10% set, meaning that uh, when the CrossFit machine learning goes in to do the capacity runway calculations, it'll first subtract 10% uh, from the total uh, available capacity, memory capacity, and then it will use the remainder of that to do the calculations on. The other thing that uh, we notice about this cluster is that one of the containers or more of the containers in the cluster are configured for RF2, um, and because it's a three node cluster like I showed you, that means that we need to be able to sustain a one node failure. and. Currently, uh, because the we are far above this effective capacity line, it means that we're not going to be able to sustain that one node failure. For that reservation number, um, that's actually a configurable parameter. Uh, we can actually come over to capacity configurations and we could turn off the uh, reserve capacity for failure if we really wanted to. Uh, right now, it's by default set to auto detect. And we also have the ability for CPU memory and storage to change around those reservations. So to summarize, the effective capacity of a cluster takes into account the configured reservations that you can set here, as well as the RF of the cluster if you uh, leave the auto detect option on in this settings. And so that will adjust the runway to take into account these failure scenarios. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes on how to make your IT operations efficient.